can I put this on? I have a question. And I know how you girls like the tussle. But are we going back to 2015 and 2016? Because what is going on with Drake and Beyonce's music right now? Now, if y'all don't know, Drake recently dropped that album. I have a lot of opinions on Drake, which a lot of y'all might not like. But hey, it is what it is. This is the internet. We're allowed to disagree with each other. But. And um, Beyonce recently dropped a song called uh, Don't Break My Spirit or something like that. Um... I'm sorry, in recent days, Drake has become trash. I'm waiting for the day where Drake just quits music and, you know, just becomes like a social media light and an A-list celebrity, like just a random A-list celebrity. Because, um, I'm sorry, Drake is just trash. His older songs back in the early 2000s and the early 2010s, that I believe was his prime. I'm sorry, Kiki. Do you love me? It was, it was a viral moment. I'm not gonna lie. He did have many viral moments, and if it's one thing I'm not gonna shit on Drake about is that he knows how to keep relevant and he knows how to transition with the new times, which is something his counterparts like Lil Wayne and Nicki Minaj, and I would almost always say, and I would almost say like Chris Brown has struggled with as well is that they have struggled to transition or what do you call that assimilate with the new generation like if it's one thing i will um congratulate drake on is that he has found a way to make himself and associate himself with the new generation and their type of music that is one thing i'm not going to shit on drake about or you used to call me on my cell phone like i don't even think that was his prime i think his album with the clouds and shit what's that song called what's that album with the um just hold on we're going home and all his older songs Baby, you my everything. You all I ever wanted. We could do it. Like, ah, uh, that's my favorite song by him. But yeah, yes, I am one of those people that are like, yes, Drake was in his prime in the early 2000s and the early 2010s. Now, I'm sorry, it's giving elevator music. Like, what is this shit? I feel like he's just making music just to make music. I feel like back then he was actually making music for a purpose, for a reason. There was a reason behind it. Now, he's making music just for the heck of it. And I'm not feeling it. So, yeah, in my opinion, Drake is trash right now. Um, that elevated music he can go home with. And I also want to say, like, are we traveling back to the 2015 era? Are we traveling back to when I met you in the summer? Like, are we traveling back to Calvin Klein with, you no know, Calvin Harris? I always, mess, <laughs> I always mess those up. Calvin Harris with um, the Chainsmokers with, you know, Roses. Uh, uh, uh. Or... Give me some if I'm my star. No, just no. You know, the, the roof is falling. Golden. I forget. Whatever you call it. Are we traveling? Are y'all trying to go back to the 2015? Like, we have barely, just barely left that era. And y'all are trying to travel back. Like, can y'all not think of anything else? Like, in my opinion, there's nothing wrong with European house music. But it reminds me way too much of the 2015. Like, we already did that era. Like, can y'all do something else? Can y'all make something new? Can we go futuristic like Doja Cat? Like, let me tell you something. Doja Cat is the artist of this generation. She's everything we've been looking for. I don't know how, but every outfit she has, it always gives. And I'm not like one of those people that's like, oh, anything Rihanna wears looks good. I'm sorry, Rihanna could be in a trash bag. And yes, she'll make, like, it doesn't mean that the trash bag will look good on her. Like, I'm sorry. Not every Rihanna outfit looks good. It looks decent, but I would definitely say almost everything we see Doja Cat in looks at least, at the very least, decent. She's the artist of this generation. Like, why can't y'all be like Doja Cat? Can y'all make something new? Can we go futuristic here? Like, why are we trying to travel back in time? But we barely left that time. Like, you know what I mean? And then Beyonce, and then Beyonce's song. I'm sorry. I'm not a huge Beyonce stan. I don't believe any and every song. Sorry, that Beyonce releases looks good. I mean, is good. Like, I'm sorry. Beyonce's little hip hop era where she was like with ape shit. It's an okay song. I'm not too, too, like, crazy about it. Like, honestly, I haven't really been paying much attention to Beyonce. Um, She has taken um a break from music. I feel like she's become more theatrical in her songs, which, you know, is not unusual. But even with Beyonce's song, like, I'm sorry. 
but I am one of those people. I keep the same energy, okay? Like, let me tell you something. Don't ever try to catch me off guard talking about, oh, well, I hope you think that. Yep, most likely I do think the same thing about all those other things. So, yeah, um, Beyonce's new song is definitely giving Drake's album. It's giving they did a collaboration. It's giving y'all were in the same studio. It's giving Beyonce stole one of Drake's unreleased tracks. Like, I'm sorry, what is this? Like, why are y'all trying to do this European house sounding song? We already did that. Like, what is up with this generation? Oh, like, can y'all be like Doja Cat or like, I would honestly, and I'm about to say something and y'all might be mad. Playboy Cardi is the boy version of Doja Cat for hip hop artists. Playboy Cardi is it. I know the lyrics are trash, but the beats, chef kiss, chef's kiss. The beats, y'all, like I've recently fought, I fell in love with Playboy Cardi's songs, y'all. It's, I'm not going to be like every single song he releases is good, but I love the sounds, like the sounds he makes. It reminds me of when Drake first came out in the hip hop scene or Kanye, we could even say like, you know what I mean? How Kanye did his whole, like how he likes to remix like these old ass fucking from the 80s ass tracks and turn it into a hip-hop song it reminds me of playboy cardi like he uses these very unique sounds to make these awesome ass beats and it's like literally his songs make you feel euphoric it makes you feel high you know what i mean i would love to listen to his songs while i'm high because i feel like i'd be on a roller coaster but yeah why can't y'all be like those artists like i'm sorry in my opinion drake needs to quit music because at this point he's just doing it just to do it like, what are you doing at this point? His his job in the fucking music scene, in the fucking celebrity scene, is to just be a predator because <laughs> he has definitely talked to underage teens. Like, if y'all don't know, that's been a thing. And Beyonce just needs to sit there and look pretty. <laughs> um, And yeah, like, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm not really a huge fan of Beyonce. And I'm not gonna shit on her. Like, at the end of the day, Beyonce's definitely earned her title as a legend. Beyonce is a legend. Mm-hmm. She is a legend. And I think Doja Cat is working her way up to being a legend. Uh, Playboy Cardi, he's pretty cool. I really like him. I wouldn't say... He, he's becoming one of my favorite hip-hop artists. But yeah, like, why can't y'all be like those? Like, I don't know about y'all, but just, like, the music scene in general, it's starting to become a little bit stale. Like... I'ma need Doja Cat to hop back in the studio. Let me stop. I know she's taking a break. I know she's going through some things, but I'ma need her to hop back in the studio. Playboy Cardi, I'ma need you to release another viral song for me. Um, Megan Thee Stallion, switch it up. <laughs> like, switch it up. Just switch it up. Like, I don't know. Like, y'all, I'm not a Megan Thee Stallion hater. Like, I do believe Tori shot the fuck out of Meg. If y'all don't know, yes, I do believe that. Ain't no way he did not shoot her, like... He shot the fuck out of her. That Napoleon complex will get you. But Megan Thee Stallion, I'm gonna need you to switch it up. I'm gonna need you to just do something different, okay? Um, sweetie, please leave. <laughs> no offense, I love her, but please leave. Um, Beyonce, I'm gonna just need you to stick with the theater, go to acting or something, stick with the theatrical shit. Um... And yeah, like, I don't know, y'all. The music scene's becoming a little bit stale. Um, Billy Elish, Billy Eilish. Um, I'm gonna need you to get the fuck out real quick. I'm gonna need you to take a hiatus. Um, same thing with Olivia Rodrigo. Y'all had your little time. Now it's time to get the fuck out. Um, Saucy Santana, I'm gonna need you to shut the fuck up. Close your mouth so you can let your music career pros prosper. And I'm gonna need you to release another material oh my gosh y'all when material girl went popping i was like i've been listening to that song when it only had one million views y'all when that song only had one million views i was listening to that shit it's crazy i used to love that song and it went fucking popular i'm proud of him but i'm gonna need you to release another popping ass track with a different fucking artist stop collaborating with um mulatto or big lotto Please, can you stop that shit? Collaborate with um, Little Nas X. And with Little Nas X, I'm gonna need you to switch it up a little bit too. I'm gonna need you to release a poppin' ass track. Another one, okay? 
I'm gonna need you to um yeah that's it um but yeah that's my opinions on Drake's album and Beyonce's newly released song we don't know what her album is gonna be like but please I hope that song is not like what it's all gonna be like if we know Beyonce I feel like she's gonna take us for a spin she says she's gonna release a country song I'm not really happy about that I don't hate country music it's just I don't like it but um yeah those are my opinions hopefully y'all enjoyed this video put down your comments down below on what y'all think about drake's album and beyonce's song and i'll see y'all on the next one peace